Hi everyone, I'm Amrita and welcome to my channel Fries and Shine. Here you will find evidence-based, no-nonsense, nutrition-related information. And today's video is about healthy ways to include fried food in your diet. The monsoon is finally here and it's time to bring out the bhajiyas and the vada paos and enjoy them with a steaming cup of chai or coffee. Now I know that most of us think that fried food is really unhealthy for us. So I am here to bust this myth for you and to show you three ways in which you can include these in your diet in a healthy manner. Firstly, please understand that fried food and the calories from it will impact your weight and your health negatively only if you eat them too much and too often. Now I know too much and too often are very subjective terms and you can absolutely reach out to me to understand what these terms mean for you. So here are my three tips about frying food. Number one, fry food at home as much as possible. This allows you to control the quality of the oil that you are using and in this way you can control as much as you can the impact that fried food will have on your health. Number two, eat fried food as a sometimes food. Think about the concept of a vacation. They are super fun, everyone loves vacations but you can't be on vacation all the time otherwise your family and finances would suffer. So think of fried food like a vacation and think about your other healthy balanced diet food as your finances and your work and your school that you need to do on a regular basis. So eat the fried food, sure, but not all the time, otherwise your health will suffer. Number three, do not reuse the oil in which food has been fried. I know we come from a country where we don't want to waste, but it's really not a good idea to reuse this oil. This is because extreme exposure to heat, light, oxygen, it damages the oil. And when it damages the oil, it creates these things called free radicals that can create damage in your body. This is why fried food gets a bad rap. It's not the oil, it's not the frying of the food, it's not even the calories. It's this constant reuse of oil which creates damage in our body. So if your oil changes color, starts to smoke, starts to smell funny or develops a foamy layer on top, it's time to get rid of it. Lastly, please remember, food begs to be enjoyed for more reasons other than just health. In the case of vada pav, it's the perfect season for it and especially if you are a Mumbaikar like I am, it would be a real loss to your cultural sentiment if you didn't enjoy this food and if you attached any kind of guilt for this food. So follow these three tips for your fried food, eat them occasionally and I promise you they will not harm your health in a negative way. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel and share this video with others who will also find it helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. Reach out to me on Instagram or simply send me an email. I hope to hear from you very soon. Until then, take care and keep shining.